Good afternoon and welcome to uh, the supplement session for the Unit 5. In this session, we will look at how to build a form for data input uh, into Microsoft Access. So this will take us two steps. The first step is going to be building the actual, um, building the actual um, uh, table, the, the actual database. And the second step is going to be uh, building the form bound to that particular table. We're not going to be building anything uh, too complicated. It's just going to be one table and uh, one form that's um, going to be bound to that table. So the first thing is to build the actual database with that table, right? So we're going to use the um, table containing information about the company, like company name, address, city, you know, state, etc. So to do that, first of all, we're gonna uh, start by building that table, that database actually in that table. So we're gonna switch to design view and name it, uh, let's name it T for table company information or company data. Okay, so this is the, this step is pretty similar to the one that uh, we've, we've done in the um, in the last exercise, physical form, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, physical model uh, building uh, of access. So I'll just gonna, I'm, first of all, I'm gonna rename to company ID, and I'm gonna quickly try to quickly populate the uh, field. So keep in mind that uh, not to include blank spaces, even though you could, but it's best practice not to. Also keep in mind that I'm going to skip on uh, changing most of the types, even though zip code and phone numbers are pro probably should be um, uh, number types. Uh, just for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to uh, move forward with it with short text. That should be just as fine. But in real life, you do need to be more granular and change it. Next number. And website. Now, for the website, I'm going to use different type. I'm going to use the hyperlink. And for notes, I'm also going to use long text. Oops. All right. So a couple of things um, I need to do before we move on to building the form. Uh, so uh, one thing we're going to you're going to do is uh, uh, select the size, uh, field sizes, right? So the 255 is a standard for short text. Um, you can increase it for up to up to 4,000, but uh, you know, by default it's 255. Now, uh, the reason we're switching to smaller sizes, sort of like something that we predict is gonna be the size of the company name, uh, you know, based on observation maybe, or other criteria, is because if you keep it at 255, it's going to keep the, um, it's going to allocate that memory. And even if you're using 50, it's going to still uh, allocate uh, the memory for 255 characters, right? So it's best practice to keep your database small, uh, you know, your data smaller and um, more uh, efficient. So we're going to change company name to 50. We're going to change address also 50 zip code now zip code can be uh, nine digits but in my case i only want five um for the phone number let's keep it to let's give it 20 even though uh, a regular phone number us phone number is 10 digits i'm gonna give it a little bit more um just because um i might want to store some foreign numbers as well and they can be longer than 10. So state is going to be two because we have the uh, abbreviations for the state. Country, uh, country is 25. Fax number is also going to be 20. And uh, hyperlink and text don't have anything. Okay, so uh, one more step with the table. We need to uh, create masks. So what is mask for? So for mask for phone numbers. So mask is essentially a format that you uh, want to uh, the data to be put in, showed and uh, stored. So and those actually can be uh, three different uh, three different options. 
So I'm going to demonstrate it on the phone. So phones typically entered as, you know, like this. Uh, one, two, oops. So uh, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, but what if I what if I want it to be uh, in a proper format, like you know, with the parentheses, so it will be easier to read, easier to remember, and so on and so forth. So what I can do, I can create a mask. To do that, I need to go to the um, field properties, and um, look into the uh, input mask option right here, property. So I'm going to click on three dots uh, to the right from the input mask. And I get some strange warning. Microsoft products don't, you know, like to warn about each other, I guess. Oh, and I need to save the table. Okay, the table is saved. So, uh, and it's giving me an option of what kind, of the, it, it's pop, popping the input mask wizard and giving me an option of what kind of um, uh, data do I want and suggesting, uh, you know, frequently used, um, frequently used masks for it. Now, in this case, I'm going to use just for the phone number. I can also do the zip code. But again, since I only have five, I don't really need a mask there. It's just straight five numbers. But for phone numbers, I'm going to use this one. And uh, you can see that if you want to try it out, how it's going to look, you can. Uh, 301, 222, 5761 or 67. Okay, great. Looks great. So I'm going to move over. And I'm going to... Um, uh, click next again. Now, uh, it, now here's the option that it will ask me: How do I want to store the data? You know, because inputting data, if you don't, if you actually want the data to be stored as a number, then um, you you would want to go with the second option, the one that's highlighted, selected. But uh, you know, in this case, you might want to just uh, um, you know, you will create a mask just for the input, but the data will actually be stored like. Uh, like this, just like um, in numeric format. But in my case, I want to, because it's a short text and it will accept, um, uh, you know, characters other than numbers, uh, I want to be stored uh, in the formatted way, just like they put it in. All right, so I'm going to select the first option and click Next. Click Finish. All right, I'm going to do the same for Facts. All right, so the table is ready. I'm going to save it. So uh, the next thing is uh, to create a form. So to create a form, we're going to go to the Create um, tab again. And so you can't really see it because I uh, sort of like using half of the screen, but if I extend a little bit, you'll see the button that says Form Wizard here. So that's what we're going to use for uh, at least at the beginning, because we can do it from build it from scratch just by clicking Form Design, but Form Wizard will guide you, and I get this weird security warning again. Form Wizard will guide you uh, and build properly formatted form that you can customize, that based on which you can start building your customized form, right? So, uh, Basically, it's fairly simple. Uh, you select the table that you want to uh, build the form on. So in our case, it's uh, table company data. That's the only table that we've built, actually. So I'm going to select that. The um, single arrow and double arrow pointing to the right will move the fields that you want to create, that you want access to create uh, input, um, uh, input text fields for. Now, I would ideally, I want all my fields, and to move all your fields, you need to double. You need to click the double point, double arrow, um, pointing to the right button. Uh, it will move all fields. But if, or you can just move them one by one. If it's an extremely long database and you don't need all fields, you can just selectively pick them one by one by clicking single arrow. And by the way, uh, single arrow pointing to the left and double arrow pointing to the left will remove those fields. So, but in my case, I want all fields but the company ID. Typically, because company ID doesn't carry 
any analytical value. Um, in some cases, you might want to have it just for informational purposes, maybe to see the record number or something. But in my case, in, in this case, we don't want it. So let's move all the fields. And then we're going to move the company ID field back. All right, now we have the fields that we want. Uh, let's click on Next. And next, you're going to select the, uh, the outline uh, of the uh, of the uh, of the forms of the form that you want to build. So uh, columnar, uh, tabular, data sheet, justified. Last two is mostly if uh, you need to use mostly if you see the users uh, changing the entries uh, a lot. But other than that, like maybe accountants. But other than that, you want to uh, you want it to be the columnar or um, uh, or actually not the last two the um, data sheet and tabular, columnar or justified. But I encourage you to experiment with uh, uh, all of them. Just build one form with each, um, you know, with each um, format and see which one works for you. Finally, I'm going to um, uh, uh, give it a title. So the title is what's going to show up in here in this section of the form. Like here, the title is form wizard. So in this case, I'm going to remove the T and uh, underscores because here it's the title formatting. It's not really doing much but that. So and then I have two options, just opening the form and start entering the um, start en entering the numbers uh, or, or the data or I can just modify the form's design. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click on that and click on finish. And I get the form. 